But that's what happens when you exclusively pump. You already got the bowl, let's get some cereal. <laughs> I became curious about the mom cozy. There's two bottles of milk over here that are probably rotted. Sebastian! <laughs> That are probably, uh, I don't even want to no. smell. Thank God I can't smell it. No, this one's probably from this afternoon. He must have threw it. Here's another one, though. That boy. I, okay. <laughs> that is too fat to get under there. First. Ah, oh, sorry. Oh, now he wants milk, buddy. Oh, oh we have mom. We have homemade cheese. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Easy. See, so guys, this is why. <laughs> I can't wean yet because he wants his milk. I have this right here that I can give him. Not very often does he actually, like, I've found his bottles underneath the crib before like that, but it's not very often, but that's almost nine ounces. <laughs> uh, it's okay though, it's fine. Um, I'm just gonna heat this up for him and give it to him because he was just crying when he saw the curdled milk. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Come on. Come here and walk. Come here. He still drinks out of these bottles, too. So I finally finished my hair and makeup. You guys probably barely even recognize me because 99% of the time that I vlog, I never have my hair and makeup done because honestly, that's just how it is when you're a stay-at-home mom. But anyway, I really want to tell you guys something that's mainly funny on my part and it involves the mom cozy pump. Probably back in November, December, this company kept reaching out to me. They're like, they want to send you a pump and we want you to make a video about it and review it, blah, 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 like a sponsorship. And I don't typically like do sponsorships or nor have I done one before. And I've had like multiple companies reach out to me. I just, I don't know. I just don't like scamming people because I honestly feel like most of these companies send people products and these YouTubers or TikTokers and Instagram people They'll make believe like that it's like this good product, whatever. Obviously like everyone else, you're just seeing it all over the internet and I just became intrigued by it last week. I currently have the LV pump. I personally felt like they just were not good at all. Like now this is a $500 pump and I'm so mad that I fell into the hole of thinking that they would actually be really good because number one, they feel like I when I have them in, they're like not secure in my boobs whatsoever, no matter how tight. And it literally doesn't even suck my one other inverted boob. Um, it never really bothered me because I had my Medela pump and I mainly used my Medela pump and all I really cared about was not really like comfort, but I just wanted like, my milk to come out. I didn't really care to sit there strapped to a wall. I became curious about the mom cozy because I keep seeing, I'm like, wow, like some of these women get like a lot of milk out and me thinking in my head, okay, if a $500 breast pump that goes in your bra is garbage, essentially, how could a $100 pump be good? Like, like again, this company would not leave me alone. I'm like, oh my God, like I, do, like I was thinking in my head, I don't want these shitty pumps. Like I don't want them. They're just probably trash. And no way am I gonna scam my audience, like no way. So now here I am, I tried them out and I was actually shocked. Now I'm going to be honest, they're not like the best pump ever, but they're way better than the LV pump and they actually like do work. I really am sad that now that I'm only pumping twice a day that I didn't get these sooner. Again, don't think that you're gonna get these and think that they're gonna compare to like any type of like really good wall pump because that's not it. But again, this is like a great, great, great secondary pump. So I saw this girl on TikTok, like she was obviously reviewing the Mom Cozy. Um, 
it's kind of obvious just make sure everything is super secure everything is actually dry and just make sure everything is just on super tight or like just make sure everything is super you know together and i do want to like make another statement i'm pumping for almost 13 months like my body is just like crazy about making milk because it's been over a year so just be careful if you're like you just had a baby and you're trying to establish your milk supply i wouldn't even try using a pump like this like just stick with a baby or stick with a strict really good wall pump because honestly like products like these like and women that don't know this could easily damage your milk supply like if you don't if you don't truly understand how milk production works and you don't really know how well like breast pumps works like not all breast pumps are the same they're not but again like this one it's not bad so that's why i wanted to like talk about it because i was like pretty intrigued um but again i use my medalla 99.9 percent of the time which is a wall pump i showed it actually in my other video but anyway like you want to make sure like these two parts are super tight in there like really tight like you want to like like really like push it together to make sure it's all in there and then the same with like this part obviously like just put everything together super tight like as tight as you can and like i see a lot of women like say like this is a complaint and again i'm only pumping twice a day so i'm only using it once a day um because i'm like weaning down but apparently like this can leak i've like seen complaints about that i didn't have that happen to me yet this part here just make sure it's like really push it in there like with all your might and then to like test it make sure it's not like wobbly or anything because if any of this suction comes out then it's not going to work well and then i'm going to show you what my little secret is that i found out with these things so guys i have them currently in my bra i'm only showing myself in the mirror right now because this is actually how i get to know my nipples are completely actually aligned i'm gonna try to do this the best i can without showing my actual nipple but first things first make sure you have a really extremely tight bra this one's from amazon now i just turned them on and now the first thing i do is make it like tight as i can to like where it's like actually uncomfortable on my shoulder because that's what's holding your pump together and then like turn it to the other mode and turn it up all the way and now right now i'm actually like looking in the mirror i can see if my nipple is actually aligned because i can see like milk is squirting out now so you guys can see some milk is coming out so yeah that's pretty much my hack um right now they're just going and pumping right now um again don't think that when you purchase this pump it's gonna be like the best pump ever for you i'm just saying it's a pretty great affordable secondary pump that would really benefit you say if like you know you're gonna be at a pinch and you really have to pump now i actually had to use like put them back on like two times like when it actually fills up because my one boob makes a lot of milk but i do have to wear it for like a half hour which is just kind of like annoying but again i i'm just being honest like i was shocked by how well they were for just like a a cheaper wearable bra pump and i <laughs> Think it's kind of funny how they were like reaching out to me they wanted me to like they would have given it to me for free and they wanted me to like sponsor them but uh i ended up getting them anyway and using it like in this situation it's actually good because now i just have to put my shirt on and i'm just gonna wear them at my friend's house till it's ready and i'll just show you guys what my output is for that too but one more thing just please be careful when it comes to like picking out a pump like this because again it if you're not doing it right or even if it really is just a shitty bad pump your milk supply will suffer like my supply is very very regulated because i've been pumping for over almost a year now so i know how much i'm supposed to get like at this time of the day so yeah just be careful and again i just wanted to tell you about it because i just recently got them last week and i was shocked by how well they are actually working for me see this is exactly what i'm talking about you can like see the milk is like actually coming out and it's like aligned to my nipple correctly so that's how we know we're all good and that they're working right now and i really have to find a shirt to put on this is like i have all of my clothing pretty much packed up 
and it's just, ugh, this is frustrating. Trying to find something to wear. Let's see. I pretty much just wear black every day, guys. I'm sure you've noticed, but I want to make sure to wear a shirt that can access. This one's good. And obviously, you can tell that you're pumping, <laughs> but it just looks like you have gigantic boobs when you're wearing something like this. Gino's gonna kill me because I've been vlogging about the pumps this entire We're time. Ready. What what pumps? The what's one of the eight pumps? Babe, how many pumps do I have? <laughs> About eight, ten, nine. <laughs> no, I think I have like eight. five. <laughs> but that's what happens when you exclusively pump. <laughs> so guys, they're actually almost full. <laughs> um, we're just about to go to our friend's house now. I'm probably gonna empty it out in just a little bit. You already got the bowl, let's get some cereal. <laughs> cereal! Cereal! Oh, it's got a little spout? Yeah. Oh, it was worth $2,000. Oh, it's warm. And this is my less producing boob. Probably not my fiddle on there. Can you hold that, babe? Oh, do I have a cap? Okay, Daddy can't. That is that Ricky twins? Yeah. What did you say, twins? What's up? Hi, Melania. Somebody get tired today. You tired today, baby? I was waiting for you. See, now it's a good thing you took a bath, right? Mm -hmm. I ain't nice and clean. You didn't have to sleep all dirty. So after I give Sebastian this bottle, this one will be his next nap bottle and then he'll drink this one in between and then I'll probably have this one in the afternoon.